For this assignment, we'll be using Wireshark to examine Ethernet frames. The two things we will need are the CyberOps, Workstation, Virtual Machine, and Internet Access. When upper layer protocols communicate with each other, data flows down the open system interconnection, the OSI layers, and is encapsulated in a layer two frame. The frame composition is dependent on the media access type. In the case of upper layer protocols being TCP and IP, the media access is Ethernet, whereas layer two frame encapsulation will be Ethernet two. This is common for a LAN environment. For part one, we will examine the header files and contents in an Ethernet 2 frame provided. A Wireshark capture will be used to examine the contents in those fields. An Ethernet 2 header consists of a preamble consisting of 8 bytes, destination address of 6 bytes, source address of 6 bytes, frame type of 2 bytes, data of 46 through 1500 bytes, and FCS of 4 bytes. In this, Wireshark capture packets are being generated by a ping being issued from a host PC to its default gateway. A filter was applied to Wireshark to view the ARP address resolution protocol and ICMP internet control message protocol only. The session begins with an ARP request for the MAC address of the gateway router, followed by four ping requests and replies. Going into further detail, we can see what each specific field in the Ethernet 2 header consists of and what its value and description is. The preamble is not shown on the capture, but this field contains synchronizing bits processed by the NIC or Network Interface Card hardware. The destination address, which is a 48-bit long address, is expressed as a 12 hexadecimal digit. The comment format is to pair them up in two hex values as 12 hexadecimal digits. The first six hex decimals consist of the manufacturer of the NIC card. The last six hex values are the serial number of the NIC. The destination address may be all broadcast, which consists all of ones or a unicast. The source address is always unicast. Frame type has a hex value of 0x0806. For Ethernet 2 frames, this field consists of a hexadecimal value to indicate the type of upper layer protocol in that data field. There are numerous upper layer protocols supported by Ethernet 2. The two common frame types are IVP4, which is the hex value of 0x0800, and ARP, which is hex value 0x0806. Data has ARP. This contains the encapsulated upper level protocol. The data field is between 46 through 1500 bytes. FCS, which is not shown on the capture, is the frame check sequence used by the NIC to identify errors during transmission. The value is computed by the sending machine, encompassing frame addresses, type, and data field. It is verified by the receiver. The contents of the destination address field are significant because all hosts on the LAN will receive a broadcast frame. The host with the IP address of 192.168.1.1, which is the default gateway, will send a unicast reply to the source PC host. The reply will contain the MAC address of the NIC of the default gateway. The PC sends out a broadcast ARP prior to sending the first ping request because it needs to determine the MAC address before it can build the frame header for that ping request. The ARP broadcast is used to request the MAC address of the host with the IP address contained in the ARP. The MAC address of the source in the first frame is f 48 c 50 d The vendor ID or OUI of the source's NIC is Intel Corporation. The first three octets of the MAC address indicate the OUI. The NIC serial number of the source for this case is 62.62.6D. .62 for part two, we will use Wireshark to capture local and remote Ethernet frames. We will examine the information that is contained in the frame header fields. We will start by starting and logging on the CyberOps workstation virtual machine using VirtualBox. After opening a terminal emulator to start the mininet, we will enter the command to open a Python file in the directory lab.support.files. or forward slash scripts with superuser sudo privilege. After the terminal asks for the password, we are prompted by the terminal window on host h3. 
After using the command line interface to start Mininet, we type in xterm h3. Using ifconfig, we can verify the IPv4 address and record the MAC address. At the prompt on node h3, we enter netstat slash r to display the default gateway information. The IP address of the default gateway for the host h3 is 10.0.0.13. For step 2, we will clear the ARP cache on h3 and start capturing traffic on h3 slash eth0. In the terminal window for node h3, we enter ARP slash n to display the contents of the ARP cache. We will clear any existing ARP information. This is done by typing ARP slash D IP slash address. This is repeated until all the cached information is cleared. Using the terminal window for node H3, we open Wireshark to start packet capturing for H3 slash ETH0 interface using Wireshark slash GTK and to open up Wireshark. We will ping H1 from H3 by typing ping slash C5 10.0.0.1. This will ping the default gateway and stop after sending 5 echo request packets. Using ICMP filter on the captured data, we will filter out only the ICMP traffic. The Wireshark main window is divided into three sections. The packet list pane top, the packet details pane middle, and the packet bytes pane bottom. If we select the correct interface for the packet capturings in step 3, Wireshark should display the ICMP information in the packet list pane of Wireshark, which we do. In the packet list pane top section, we click the first frame listed. This shows echo ping request under the info heading. In this highlighted blue, we examine the second line in the packet details pane, the middle section. This line displays the length of the frame. The second line in the packet details pane shows that it is an Ethernet 2 frame. The source and destination MAC address are also displayed. The MAC address of the PC's NIC is 563E6043-8898. The default gateway's MAC address is EE1D0E5A419E. By clicking the arrow at the beginning of the second line to obtain more information about Ethernet 2 frame, we see what type of frame is displayed, which is IPv4 or 0x0800 frame type. The last two lines displayed in the middle section provide information about the data field of the frame. We notice that the data contains the source and destination IPv4 address information. The source IP address is 10.0.0.1. The destination IP address is 10.0.0.13. We can click any line in the middle section to highlight that part of the frame in packet bytes pane. Bottom section. By clicking the internet control message protocol line in the middle section and examine what is highlighted in the packet bytes pane. Clicking the next frame in the top section and examining an echo reply frame, we notice that the source and destination MAC address have reversed. This is because this frame was sent from the default gateway router as a reply to the first ping. For step 6, we start a new capture on Wireshark. In the terminal window with node H3, we will send 5 echo packets to 172.16.0.40. We can stop capturing when pings are complete. In the first echo ping request, the frame and the source destination MAC addresses are 10.0.0.0.13 and 172.16.0.40 respectively. Layer 2 frames never leave the LAN. When a ping is issued to a remote host, the source will use the default gateway MAC address for the frame destination. The default gateway receives the packet, strips the layer 2 frame information from the packet, and then creates a new frame header with the MAC address on top of the hop. This process continues from router to router until the packet reaches its destination IP address. The preamble field contains 7 octets of alternating 1010 sequences and 1 octet that signals the beginning of the frame. One zero one zero one zero one.